they were probably defending this forest edge. Okay, I'm ready for this. <laughs> and they started shouting. It's a Soviet belt buckle. Good morning. Yeah, we made a long drive, but we're finally here. We're back on the Eastern Front of the Second World War. We just arrived in the first location. There are some clear dugouts here. And uh, these are the remains of foundations. It's all still clearly visible. These beautiful woods that once was a Soviet camp here. Hundreds of soldiers resided here in the forest for quite a while. Actually, before it was a Soviet camp, it was a German camp. Armies usually reused uh, the opportunities that were there. So camps were often reused. So yeah, it makes this a really interesting location. Should be both German and Soviet stuff. Let's set up the detectors and give it a try. And my first signal of the day, surprisingly enough, you can see it over here. It's a rifle clip, but it's not just any clip. This is um, from a Carcano rifle, which was an Italian rifle. So to me, that's quite surprising that we're finding that here. But uh, I do know that the German army used these Carcano rifles. So that's probably how it ended up here. Right now I'm running over to Jeff because he shouted over the walkie with the first signal of the day. And he told me he found a magazine of a machine gun. <laughs> oh wow man, that condition is not even too bad. We should brush that up. That's a banger of a fire man, what a great way to start the day. Second signal. Wow, <laughs> that is a beauty. I've seen them being found in worse conditions. So we completely brushed it up, Sturmgewehr magazine. It was the first ever assault rifle actually that the Germans designed. And actually also the design from the AK-47 was stolen from uh, the design of the MP-44, also called Sturmgewehr 44. So that was really an iconic machine gun. All right, we've definitely found the camp. There's foxholes, there's dugouts here everywhere. There's one here, one back there. They're everywhere basically. Um, and Ray just called me over because he has found something cool. Oh, that looks shiny, man. Wow, it's a Kriegsmarine button that was a German Navy in the Second World War. Wow, it's, it's, it's gilt plated still. Yeah, you see that? It's a year on it. There we go, 1940 Kriegsmarine. That's a beauty, man. Well, it seems that Ray is finding all of the buttons today because right next to this dugout, Ray just found his Soviet button. There we go, that's in a really nice condition still. It's made from brass, as you can see. Ray hit some sort of a dump pit over here. Um, multiple items actually. This is a cigarette case. It's cool, you can still open it. It's empty unfortunately. And he found a toothbrush as well. This looks like a key. Some sort of a tube, maybe toothpaste. Probably toothpaste. <laughs> oh, that's a buckle. There's more. So many items all together. Is that, is that fabric? Yeah. Could that be, are there shoulder boards in there? What kind of fabric is it? I think it's a sock. Oh well, interesting mix of relics. And a couple of meters further, Faye just shouted that she had a ring. Is it really? Look. You're right, it's a ring. <laughs> wow, you always manage to find rings like. She hasn't been uh, detecting with me for so long, but this is uh, the second ring? Yes, it is. Okay, well, one ring before, but let, let's clean that up. That looks really neat. There is something on it, I think. Yeah? I think there used to be something there. Let me see. Let's see if I can focus that. Well, it's definitely a soldier's ring. This is a custom-made ring with Cyrillic writing, indicating it's Soviet-made. From the markings, we can at least make out 1944. Well, it seems that Jeffrey found a little dump pit 
and already quite some stuff came out. Oh, he's actually finding more here. This is a this is an MG. 3442 drum magazine, so this contains 75 rounds, I believe. It's in a rotten state, but still cool. And we have more. Yeah, these are Mauser K98K ammunition pouches. All leather bits are here. There's usually markings on there. It's multiple pouches, actually. This is from a German backpack. From a German backpack, wow. Where is it? Yeah, and he found, he found a bolt for an MG34. As well, yeah, wow, look at that. So definitely they had some uh, MG machine gun position over here. They definitely had a nice view from up here. They were probably defending this forest edge. There are some fields over there, so. It's that moment again where Jeff makes a funny face and I know something's going on, something good. Ah. Okay, I'm, I'm ready for this. Are you? <laughs> I am. <laughs> That's a Soviet badge, man. Holy shit. I've never seen that one before. No, me neither. That's a really pretty one, man. Look at the detail. Wow. You don't even have to brush it. No. <laughs> well, we're going to brush Maybe it anyway. But yeah. Man. Oh, oh wow. It's enameled red, I think. It's, a, it's still on there. It's detail. Crazy. I know why they call you Golden Boy, you know. <laughs> it's always him, you know. <laughs> Need to keep my reputation up. Yeah. We were talking about finding more Soviet badges all day and uh, finally the moment is there again. Oh, ants, ants. Ants! <laughs> no worries, we didn't get bitten. Man, are you kidding me? I have no idea what kind of badge this is, but... It's a World to do Soviet badge for sure, so we're gonna do some research and uh, I'll make sure to update you with the information about why this badge was earned by the soldiers. But that is a banger, another banger guys, man. This is a really great trip. We're having fun. All right, so my eye just got something down there at this badge. There is a mortar tube there. So maybe this was an award that was given to a soldier which was very capable of firing mortars. It's a decoration in the ward for sure. Probably for a mortar crew, mortar men. All right, let's clean it with some water. Let's see if we can make it a bit shinier again. That's, that's really crazy. It's a little bit goldish. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit, uh, it's gilded, maybe. Enameled red and uh, some gold colors there. It's a really pretty badge. Nice. So I just did a quick Google search and found out that this badge is a World War II Excellent Mortar Man badge from the Red Army, an expert award, guys. That's freaking crazy, I have no words for that. Jeff does it again. There we go. I just dug up a war coin. A minute ago I dug up another one and I see a one on there, one Fennec. And there's more. It's always difficult to do this with one hand. Yeah, it's all war coins, one Fennec, German war money. Yeah, I just wanted to show you. There, on this one, Eagle is still visible. There we go, the Eagle is Swastika. I think it says 1941. All right, well, the holes are empty. Here's the final overview. I'm not really sure what happened here, but uh, maybe a soldier emptied his pockets. Um, at least I found one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight coins. Leftovers of a pen or something, a lighter, two buttons as well, actually. There we go. Nicely backfilled, as we should leave it. Well, apparently I'm not the only one finding coins because my buddy Paul over here shouted that he found a coin as well. Half mark, 1906. And made from silver, really pretty still. Yeah, that's a Prussian Eagle. Cool. 
Right now I'm just making my way over to Jeff because he called me over the walkie and he said that he found some sort of Soviet pin. Now that is exciting. Let's make my way towards him. All right, yeah, we're not sure if this is from the World War II era or post-war, but you can see a red flag there. Uh, I think we need to brush it up and see if we can find out more. Maybe the Soviet symbol is on there. I think there is a symbol on it here. And there's a clear pin on the back. Yeah. I think actually my buddy Ray found this in the past. And it is post-war, I think um, this badge originates from the Leninist Young Communist League, usually known as Komsomol. This specific badge was produced post-war in the 1970s. Uh, me and Paul are digging right beside this foxhole, as you can see. There's a lot of signals. Um, let me just show you right next to it. Paul already dug up this German gas mask canister, or what's left of it. Um, and I dug up some buckles here on the side of this foxhole. But look what pops up next. <laughs> there. This is a butt blade for a Mauser K98K rifle. That's quite a cool find actually. Well, it's Jeff again who found another Soviet pin. My god man, second pin of this evening. Well, that's a Soviet cap emblem from the Second World War. Look at that. Well, the emblem is very clear, and then you see the red enameled color. The pins are actually still there on the back. That's a really cool souvenir from the war. Gotta be kidding me, the day is almost at an end. The sun is going down, and Faye started shouting that she found something nice. Look at that! That's a Soviet belt buckle. Yeah. I've never seen that being found. Look at that condition. That's a beauty. Let's brush that up. It deserves to be brushed up. Well done, Faye. Thanks. <laughs> wow. Well, we should definitely mark the dislocation. We should uh, definitely look better around here. Man, that doesn't need a lot of cleaning, to be honest. Yeah. That's really nice. I. Lots of words right now. That's a, that's a banger. It's that time again. I'm being called over the radio and they're telling me that they found a rifle. That's super shallow. That's just under the moss. That's a Mauser K98K for sure. So the bolt is missing. The whole back part looks like maybe they slanted into a tree or something. Well, that's, I think maybe that's like the 10th piece oh, we found at this, at this spot. The bolt is inside. Oh, really? Uh... Oh, yeah, I see it. Let's brush that up. Well, that's a nice, uh, nice way to close off the day. After that Soviet buckle, I thought we were done. We were, we were actually already packing up, and then <laughs> Jeff shouted that he found a rifle. <laughs> this is always how this goes, last right? Signal. Last signal. <laughs> so you think the bolt is still inside? Ah, oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. There, bolt is inside, and this part also belongs to the bolt still. Safety. Yeah. It's always nice to look at it like that. It's a bit wrecked, but still a nice rifle. <laughs> Take off. Well, we're headed home. Sun is going down. Tomorrow is a brand new day, and we will definitely return. End it off the day with some bangers. Really happy to be back in these woods. We're gonna enjoy some nice cold beers and I'll see you next time. Cheers.